So with that, let's uh, dive into the demo. So before I do that, we're going to set up the whole thing. I've just used a couple of screenshots. I thought that would be uh, more interesting. And again, you have the PowerPoint, so you should be able to just follow if you're interested in A360 uh, team and collaboration for Revit. Just follow these steps and you're basically good to go to uh, collaborate on uh, on collaboration, or sorry, on, on a Revit project. Uh, what you'll see is that I won't be talking about um, router ports uh, and opening firewalls and what have you. Um, what you'll see here is basically an entitlement to some of our uh, cloud services and you're uh, good to go. So the first thing that you'll need is an A360 team hub and you're creating a project in there. Um, I'll talk about how that entitlement works in a second, but just for now, let's assume we have an A360 team hub, which for instance, in this case is that Autodesk 195.autodesk360.com environment. Um, what you'll see is that for a company's point of view, this is probably going to change into, uh, well, not probably for sure, this is going to change into the company's name, so, uh, or whatever you want to uh, set up. So, customer.autodesk360.com. Um, uh, with obviously a specific customer name in there uh, when you when you uh, go for the uh, A360 team entitlement. Uh, the most important thing then is to make sure that you create a new project and within that new project make sure that you select closed or secret as a project environment, not open. The reason being that we want to make sure that we have this uh, uh, opportunity here that we can activate project contributor access. That's very important. I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, the open projects do not allow for project contributor access. So that would be a challenge then later on when we look at the uh, the entitlement itself and, and what it actually costs for, for a company. Um, so for now, I've called this project Sales Roadshow. I've made it a closed project. I've activated project contributor access. And what you'll see is that I then can indeed invite project contributors. So Paula White, for instance, is a second user. So I'm already in as uh, being myself, Eves. And Paula is going to be joining uh, that project. I'm actually also going to invite a team member, which is Greg Rodriguez. And he's actually someone that wants to look at the information. Uh, this could also be a project contributor. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that you, you see the two in action, project contributors and uh, team members, and I'll explain the difference in a second. Um, so what you get in the end is that Paula White gets an invite, for instance, through email. She uh, clicks on the URL inside of that email, comes onto uh, the cloud, logs in with her credentials, and she's going to be a member of that uh, project. So she'll, she'll get this, uh, this message and she can just join this and in the end what you'll see is that that project, Sales Roadshow, will have three project members. Two which are team members, sorry, team members, and one which is a project contributor. Once inside of a project, they are all identical. Now, what is the difference between a team member that you invite uh, uh, inside of a project and a project contributor that you invite into a project. Well, the end result is that they are all project members. So do understand the difference between team members, project contributors, and project members. Project members is the end result. That's what everybody is when they're inside of a project. Team members are the paid for entitlements uh, of A360 team. Project contributors are actually for free, okay? Again, you'll see how this splits out in a second and what sort of sense it will make in a second. Now, this is just A360 team as an entitlement. What you also have is collaboration for Revit, uh, again, which you'll see in a second. Uh, collaboration for Revit, when you purchase that entitlement, it automatically comes with an A360 team entitlement and per collaboration for Revit user, a pro an, uh, an A360 team member, okay? Again, I'll talk about uh, how this actually works in practice uh, in a couple of minutes. But just so you know, A360 team entitlement allows for team members to become project members. Collaboration for Revit entitlement holds A360 team entitlement, which means they will be team members and can be invited into a project. And then there's project contributors. Those are typically the external 
designers that you want to invite. I mean, you're not going to pay for external users that want to design on uh, Revit. Uh, but what you do want to have is that they look at the same sort of information inside of that um, um, centrally shared uh, projects. 